Let's go ahead and address the Etika video, and we're gonna address the comments right this second, okay? Because for some reason, I understand people were upset, okay? So let's go ahead and look. And <laughs> these people ain't getting that. And this is, uh, th and that is how you make sure your channel never takes off. Take notes, kids. <clears throat> First of all, my channel was failing way before that. <laughs> before this Etika video. And if I can make the Etika video again, I promise you I'd make it again. Okay, obviously you didn't watch the video and you didn't even understand. You know how much work put it went into that video? I watched far more streams than you could ever think of. I watched, I told you by the time that video came out, it had already been a month or two. And I was working on the video before then. For an entire month, I only watched Etika videos. Every time for the second I woke up to the second I went to sleep, I only watched Etika and all his streams and all the things he said. So if you didn't watch the video, then you don't know what you're talking about. But as far as my channel taking off, I would make the video again. I'd make it a thousand times if I could. I have no regrets. Oh, uh, did your mama and daddy uh, not love you? People, that right there, that's just the people who um, want to shame you and guilt you. Because they didn't watch the video. I was very sympathetic to Etika. I said in the very end, I didn't believe that Etika should have passed away. I felt like he was the man that got in too deep and he didn't know how to find a way out. And he, at the end of the day, was too scared to talk about it and actually come out and be himself. I did the same damn thing. I said that in the video. I did the same thing Etika did. I walked away scared. The difference between me and Etika is that he believed differently than I did. He thought taking his life meant something completely different than what I think taking my life would mean. Etika had a different belief system than me. So he thought taking his life was the only way out. Not as in, he thought taking his life was going to maybe possibly put him into another space. So Etika thought, different than, thought differently than me. And I make that very apparent in the entire video. That Etika thought differently. Because he was so lonely and so by himself. This is what happens when you just isolate yourself. You start to believe your own thoughts and they get you nowhere. He separated himself from his friends. He separated himself from his family. He apologized in the end for not listening to his friends. And ultimately, he took the route that he thought was right out. But at the end of the day, that still made him a coward. He ran away with his tail tucked behind his legs. He was scared. He couldn't deal with it. Listen, we all make mistakes in this life, okay? And we've some of us have taken the coward route, okay? Other people do it in different ways. He took his life. Another coward way is what I did. I just disappeared from YouTube for months, for months, okay? By the time I made that video, I had been gone. So, yes, <laughs> I get it, okay? So when I was talking about him being a coward, it simply was saying that he was scared. But you guys think coward means that I was insulting the man. Watch the damn video. It's almost a two hour video. No damn reason y'all shouldn't have seen it. Okay. Let's talk about the next one. <clears throat> First of all, recipes Etika, even if a YouTuber is deceptive or uses horrible tactics to grow, it'll all work out in the end. But at the end of the day, life finds you and humbles all. I think it's clear that you might fall into this category. With such a distasteful title, I hope you're prepared for the humility that comes with it because you're truly, uh, you truly need to be humble 999. Okay, that's a juice world thing. P.S. If you truly believe parachurch relationships are an important decision to have, then change the title of this video. You are helping the conversation by keeping this video as its name now. I'm not changing nothing. <laughs> I'm not changing a damn thing when it comes to that because I believe what I said. He believed what he said. But see, y'all suckers get so caught up in all of this. Y'all get so caught up in all this life. This is why I took a break from social media. I did what Etika couldn't do. I took a break. I took a break before I even let the video out. Okay? And I even... I. The last few videos I put out, I was talking about my flaws the whole time. So for you guys who just don't get it, don't care. If you feel like I was wrong, make your own video. You go put in 50 hours of watching his streams, watching his clips, researching his 
um, Reddit. Do all that work and then come back to me and tell me that you don't think that Etika himself thought he was a coward. You go do the work and then come back to me. I ain't changing nothing. If y'all don't know me by now, they're bum. How about I watch this video for 15 seconds, then clicked off, making the YouTube algorithm think that this video is bad at engaging um, audiences. Do whatever you feel like you got to do, okay? Do whatever you feel like you need to do. At the end of the day, baby, <laughs> YouTube would not pay me enough for me to care, okay? I do the best I can in my videos, and I love making YouTube videos, but I do not care enough to care about if y'all click and uh, with the algorithm or not. My job is to educate and tell the people how I feel and what I truly believe when it comes to taking somebody's life and what I felt like when it came to Etika. I was very clear and concise in that video. I put a lot of work into that. I, writ I wrote an entire script for that entire video. I watched hours and hours of content before I said anything. I did not make that video on a whim. Before I even made the Etika video, I wanted to make it six months before I made it. Six months before I made that Etika video, I had planned to make the video. So it was not on a random whim. It wasn't just, oh, I want to talk about Etika today. No, I thought I was going to about, talk about Etika six months before I even made the video, while I was still live streaming, while I was still making reg regular commentary videos. I already knew I was going to make the Etika video, and I thought about it so long because I wanted to see how was I going to go about it. How should I go about it? What should I talk about? So don't tell me about as if you thought I did this on a whim. Once again, you show me your videos and all the stuff you did to make a video and then I will happily watch the video and then we can have a conversation. But you didn't do the work that I did. I did not do this on a whip. <sighs> all right, and the rest of the comments are nothing. What a disrespectful portrayal. Um, who are you to call him a coward? Uh, my name is Trey, in case you haven't noticed. Or you can call me What Can I Change? I don't care. You can call me Trey Johnson the third if you like. Okay? It doesn't matter to me. At the end of the day, sirs, people, <laughs> you clearly didn't get the memo. You clearly lost something. But I'm not changing anything when it comes to that video. Because that video was not an insult to Etika. I did my due diligence in portraying the man the best I could. He was a and to people who are like, ah, oh, he was a great guy. He was all. No, no. We don't know this man. I only made videos on what he said. But to say that Etika was, I'm not going to say Etika was mentally ill. But to say that Etika was just this great person because he was a streamer. It's just wild to me. He was human. And that's what I did in that video. I gave you the good and the bad. Okay. I don't want nobody when they make a video about me to say, hey, Trey was good and he was he was a good guy. He was a bad guy. Uh, I don't want people to say he was just a great guy. Nobody should call me a fat loser when I die. If I was to die tomorrow. Yeah, I want them to say that he was fat and he failed. OK, I'm cool with that because at this point in my life, I didn't do anything right. And especially if the way I go out is pushing away all my friends, pushing away all my family and telling them that they're fucking idiots and wrong. Do you forget that Etika did that? Did you forget how many times Etika went on his ex and said that we didn't get it? All the times that Etika said we were idiots. He called us stupid. He said that we were thinking on a different level than him. And y'all are defending him because y'all thought he was mentally ill. No, Etika just got caught up in his own ego at the end of the day. And he said that when he finished it all off, he was very clear, very concise in his very last video when he said, I thought I was better. I thought I was better than the people. I'm sorry for pushing away all these people. I was a coward. I wanted to change. I didn't know how to go about that change. So this is the only way I know out. I should have done better. You should have. He should have. He should have reached out to his friends instead of calling us dumb, dumb, dumb idiots and calling us stupid. That wasn't the way to do it. But he was scared. He was scared to death of if he came out and was his true self that he would lose all his followers. He deleted his YouTube channel by showing pornography on there. Instead of going the route of, hey guys, I messed up. No, he, he saw himself get one strike and decided to tear it all down. He couldn't, head, he just, being a YouTuber, being a streamer is hard to keep your head straight. 
It's hard to keep your head straight. He was drinking on streams. He was trying other stuff on streams. He was looking at porn. He was doing other stuff that he shouldn't have been doing because he got caught up in the internet world. And that's what happens to us. And he got he got so caught up and he was so scared to come out and be him true self that he ran away. He ran. And he did the one thing, the only thing he thought he could do. I do not think that Etika was going to take his life the last two years he was alive. I don't think he really came to that conclusion till the very, very end. That's when I think he said, mm, you know what? There ain't no way out. That's normally, I'm not going to say normally. That's how it goes sometimes. People make that decision in a day sometimes. I have had somebody take their lives in my family. Maybe you have had somebody take their lives in your family. I've had friends take their lives. Maybe you have friends take their lives. But one thing we can say is sometimes it's in the last days. They could be living a good life. Hey, guys, I'll see you all tomorrow. Gone. We have seen it happen with other YouTubers, other big streamers. He's like, hey, guys, I hope you all have a blessed night. I'll see you all tomorrow. If one thing goes wrong, they have one bad thought that festers too long, and they take their lives that morning before they before anybody even knows about it. That's how it goes. So I do not regret saying what I said about Erika. I do not um, take back what I said because I left again. I, I put a lot of work into that video. I thought that video out for a long time. Is it a perfect video? No. But for you guys to expect me to have the exact perfect message, you're insane. Y'all didn't put in the work to do it. I'm the only person who is even willing to talk about Etika like this. I put myself on the line. It's not like it's a huge video, but I still put myself on the line to talk about him. Because I believe what I was trying to say would help somebody else. We, you cannot run. You cannot run. You're going to have to face it. I'm doing that now. I ran away from YouTube for a while. I do think sometimes you need to take a social media break, and I did so. But there is a part of me that was scared to come back. I was going to be a coward. But mother... <sighs> Some of you guys will never get it. Y'all can run the rest of y'all's lives. I'm fine with it. But I don't take back a fucking thing I did with that video. I didn't even monetize that video. Didn't even monetize it. Could have, could have fought anything... I can normally get any of my videos monetized. Didn't even try to. They didn't care. Okay? So if you guys who thought I did this for some algorithm, motherfucker, you don't put in 50 hours of watching somebody and think about something 60 months in advance that you know I knew was going to, already knew the video was not going to be liked because I put coward in the title. And you don't do that for some YouTube algorithm. You don't do that for likes. I do this, I make videos because... I believe in what I'm talking about. I don't do it for me any other reason. With that being said, I will not read your comments if you comment on this video. I, I just went back and read it. I have not seen these comments till today. And I made that video damn near 10 months ago. So. Y'all saw it not too long ago. I'm not sure. when it, I think it released in May. But I made the video before then. And I thought about the video way before you guys even saw it. So, I feel no differently today. I'll probably feel no differently 10 years from now. But maybe I will. And if I do, you'll see a video on it. Because I'm not afraid to make a video saying I'm wrong. But today, in my true, true, honest self, do not believe the video was bad. I don't take back anything I said. And I know you motherfuckers didn't watch it all the way through. Bye.